So lately, I've seen a few people in like comment sections of Rebels. There's been a lot of debate whether Rebels is in fact a lot of fillers or if they're actually not fillers because something, even if it's small, happens every episode that kind of highlights certain things about characters or them building up the rebellion. So I want to just do a quick video discussing my opinion on it real quick. So I mean, as far as fillers go, season two was full of fillers. Everyone agrees on that part. Season three kind of feels the same way to me. But I want to say my thing is off the bat, if you enjoy Rebels, if you enjoy the so-called filler episodes, then watch them. It doesn't really matter if they're fillers or not. The whole point is that you enjoy the show, period. But that's not what the discussion is about. It's about whether they're fillers or not. So I want to get down to, let's see, some of the arguments are that episodes like uh, the, what's it called? The Winkathu job that got them proton torpedoes or um, Iron Squadron. It built up uh, the fact that other people were joining the rebels and stuff like that. So real quick those are those are probably people's top arguments as far as like fillers it's those little things like that like certain episodes build up certain relationships or show um that people are bonding together and stuff like that so i want to just say real quick that's that does not make something not a filler in my in my opinion that does not make it not a filler i mean from that kind of standpoint you could say you know there could be a whole episode about Ezra, Kanan, and them just sitting around a damn campfire laughing and telling jokes. And you can say, oh, that's not a filler because they're bonding and it's progressing the story as far as their emotional relationships. That to me is just bullshit. Honestly, it is. Because you can have, you can easily, easily add main story arcs, whether, you know, a little bit more than just character emotion. Those are so, such small things that's maybe two percent of the whole episode that's literally you can say that in a sentence this episode had you know they were bonding and it improved their character relationships you can say that in one sentence to me if you can describe the episode and what came out of an episode if you can describe what came out of an episode in less than at least 30 seconds that's a filler to me that's a filler just straight off the bat you if i go over like darth maul's like just look at my rebels recaps of, of Darth Maul stuff like that you there's a lot of key information in in those episodes um, speculations future wise there's so much that happened in the episode and also surrounding the events that happened in the episode getting proton torpedoes what okay you th the future things you can describe out of that is that they'll use proton torpedoes I mean it's still simple as that um bonding relationship wise you know just okay they'll they'll have better relationships together it do, i mean unless you're talking about sebezra or ezra bean as i like to say it it really doesn't matter <laughs> it really doesn't so yeah to me i definitely do take the side of season three has had a ton of fillers because of the fact that most of the episodes what came out of it you can describe in two seconds not nothing really came out of most of these that is actually worth talking a paragraph about or or like having a discussion topic about they're very short um i mean even the wedge antilles episode we already know what came out of wedge we already know his story for the most part um i'm just interested in seeing his before after if anything most people regard that as a filler but to me that that one would be the one of the least fillerish even though it was a filler it would be the least fillerish as far as it gave potential for wedge to be in the show later on um and show kind of more backstory about what happened in between the events of what we know about him from the movies and it now so i mean stuff like that to me is not a filler because it opens up the door um but a lot of these episodes to me have been fillers and you know it's it's if you enjoy them great i watch every episode still just because they're fillers doesn't mean i don't enjoy them i still enjoy the episodes themselves but i'm not going to be naive or super fanboyish to defend that they are and say that they're not fillers when in fact they are 98 percent of the episode has no type of come come out of it so i mean that but that's it on on that topic that's that's my opinion i just wanted to get a video out there 
telling you guys what I think about it. And, you know, I want to know what you guys think, too. Do you guys view them as fillers? And, I mean, do you enjoy the filler episodes like I do? I mean, it's perfectly okay for them to be fillers as long as they're entertaining. That's what they set out to do. So let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy so far what we've had in season three as far as not the main story arcs and let me know if you think they're fillers or if you're on the side of you know they're building up the rebellion so it's not really a filler um but let me know in the comments what you think just a friendly debate even though people argue and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>